Greetings everybody, Francis Fernando here. So uh, we are amidst the COVID-19 crisis and I thought I'd do a video um, sitting outside just because I want to make the best of the moment that we're in. I believe this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and so my focus has been in sort of emerging out of this environment stronger than I came into it. So I am uh, doing a lot of housekeeping, uh, refinancing my own personal home, uh, making sure that I take advantage of the rates that are being offered out there in the market, and overall just, you know, armoring myself for the upcoming um, rest of my future and my life and so I'm setting all that up I think again this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity so with that I want to talk to you a little bit about real estate and real estate post COVID-19 real estate in the midst of COVID-19 and sort of where we were in real estate before COVID-19 um, so where we were before COVID-19, as many of you know, uh, real estate market was good. I mean, the interest rates were good. Uh, the market was pretty hefty. I work a lot in the distressed real estate market, conducting, working for lenders, um, conducting a lot of their foreclosure auctions. And as much as we do have that regular stream of volume on the foreclosure distressed real estate side of the business, uh, it wasn't blowing up um, like it was in the 2007 through 2000. And, you know, 10, 12 time frame when we had our prior recession. Um, so now we're in COVID-19 and I would say overall the market has shut down. There's really no significant showings. Uh, really the volume of sales haven't come, um, aren't happening. Um, but at the same time, because there's really no activity in the market, uh, rates are being affected. They're on the downward trajectory. But because we're amidst the crisis, there really isn't any significant change in pricing. Um, but I want to touch on post-COVID-19. So whenever we end this pandemic, um, here's what my anticipation and what my feelings are is going to happen. Uh, first of all, the average U.S. savings rate for any family is less than three months, right? So less than three months. So if you think about that, that is a three-month um, three month span that someone can cover their mortgage expenses. So what's going to happen is once we've expired, after all these stimulus checks have been used up, uh, for those that are unfortunately uh, not working or do, and, and have exhausted their savings, uh, their, their nest egg of savings of, of less than three months, they are going to be in financial crisis. When they are in financial crisis, what happens is that they start defaulting on their mortgage payments and in time, um, we're going to see that wave of foreclosures and distressed real estate come onto the market. So it's all sort of tied to supply and demand. Right now, um, it's pretty equal. You know, there's not a heck of a lot of demand. The supply is sort of stagnant. There's not a lot of showings. But as we get this supply of real estate coming in, there's a lot of talk and a lot of... Um, lack of confidence in the market there's a lot of unemployment so unemployment is soaring uh, with that with all that happening what's going to happen is the supply is going to come the distressed market is going to get strengthened up because of all these folks uh, unfortunately not paying their mortgages losing those homes and so there is going to be a significant amount of real estate deals and sales that are coming up so for those of you that are wondering where the market's going to go trust me and heed my advice keep your powder dry because this is going to be a buying environment I want to touch a little bit on the real estate cycle for you really high level real estate occurs in cycles right people say well what is the real estate market doing 
I don't like to speak in terms of the market because the market is very specific to a segment so for example you could have a real estate market as it pertains to condos you could have a real estate market as it pertains to commercial real estate as it uh, 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 pertains to apart the apartment industry and multifamily housing so really this is a um, that's really a very segmented the real estate market that phrase is more segmented towards the type of real estate um, what I want to speak to you about is real estate in general and the cycles that real estate goes through. So real estate goes through a cycle. We're always in some form of a cycle. Um, I'll go through what the four cycles are. There's four cycles. Cycle number one is recovery. This is shortly after a recession. So after the 2008 recession, likely around 2011 2010 2011 i was buying up a lot of properties at that point uh, property prices were at rock bottom we were recovering from a recession so we were at the at almost the, the base of the the downward trajectory and we were starting to move up um, so that's the recovery phase the recovery phase there's a little bit of confidence returning into the market the jobs are starting to increase you're going to start seeing um, the retail and the commercial real estate um, uh, space start getting uh, taken and leased up you're gonna see, see construction numbers starting to go up so construction companies are gonna start building um, there's a little bit more confidence in the market but there's not a heck of a lot of real estate activity or not a heck of a lot of confidence in people buying real estate the rental market is obviously quite strong uh, during this time <clears throat> so that's recovery that's uh, sort of stage number one based on where you start on in your cycle recovery then you get into expansion right this is when people start getting that confidence back and they start buying more and you'll start seeing prices go up and you'll start seeing a lot of confidence coming back into the market job market is healthy always getting healthy uh, really a lot of construction going on jobs are returning people are working there's now a little bit more positive conversation about what the market is doing so that's the expansion phase it's still not a bad time to buy but prices are on the rise the unfortunate uh, circumstance during the expansion phase is that you'll get a lot of real estate investors coming in sort of hedging and anticipating that because we're in an expansion phase that the prices are going to soar so they will tend to buy or pay more than the current market conditions thereby making the prices sort of rapidly rise so it's still not a bad time um, but you're not getting rock bottom uh, so expansion phase is the second phase the third phase is hyper supply this is when there is a a crazy amount of it's the peak of the rise in the market uh, there's a lot of properties there's a lot of buying going on properties are trading you know quickly rapidly days on market we track it as DOM in the real estate world uh, days on market is very short um, so inventory is good supply is good it's almost like supply and demand are equal um, so that's the uh, everyone is super confident everyone and their mothers and brothers are involved in real estate so people that weren't making money in real estate before the not true investors are getting into the market at this point but they're also paying top dollar for this real estate the next and final phase which I believe is the phase that we're coming into so we are now at the sort of downward trajectory as it stands now COVID-19 this is this video is being shot on uh, May or May 5th uh, 2020 so as we are sh going down in the real estate trend um, we are right now in the hyper supply stage and as we are going down into the recessionary stage so we are going to be entering believe me and heed my advice we are going to be entering a recessionary environment as it pertains to real estate and what that means is people's savings people's uh, confidence in the market people's ability to work save pay for their mortgages is being um, is being 
affected and because it's being affected uh, the savings rates are uh, low people just don't have the ability to make their payments there's going to be a lot of properties on the market confidence is going to erode the beauty during this wave is that interest rates are significantly low so like I started this video I'm actually armoring myself taking advantage of the rates uh, I've just locked in at a 3% rate on my personal home um, and um, yeah, I'm just armoring myself for the future. I'm keeping my powder dry. I'm keeping cash available so that when we are on the downward trajectory and as we enter the lowest phase, I will rebuy a bunch of properties like I did in the 2008 to 2010 time frame because I want to purchase at the bottom of the market so that I can accelerate my wealth position. So um, I hope that this you know video was of value to you again i want to just quickly summarize there's four cycles in real estate there is the recovery the expansion the hyper supply and then the recession covid 19 uh, in 2020 may 2020 as this video is being shot i believe that we are entering a recessionary environment and there is going to be some significant deals in real estate stay tuned if you want to connect with me to learn more about this just connect with me just just hit, uh, direct message me uh, find me on LinkedIn Facebook Instagram shoot me an email and we'll connect and we can discuss more all right take care guys